and the 24 hours starts now. Why am I so nervous? Literally my hands are sweating. It is 12 o'clock. The 24 hours has begun. I will not leave this area until tomorrow until 12. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I first want to talk to you guys about the books that I'm currently reading. Right now, I am physically reading As Good As Dead by Holly Jackson. This is the third and final book in the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. I picked this up right after I finished uh, Good Girl Bad Blood and I'm really happy that I did because I felt like I was just reading one big story. I'm not in that big of a mood for this book right now and ironically, helping me finish a book is picking up another one i don't know why if i read like a different genre then it'll like intrigue me more to pick this book up i'm wanting like a fluffy romance hallmark cozy all that stuff and i don't know what book i want to read first to be honest i'm stuck between love light farms and also one of you guys commented for me to read talk santa to me first so in this book it's a ya it's romance we're following our main character francie who wants to earn money to buy a used car and she's actually working at her family's holiday shop she's actually trying to distract herself from the world's worst first kiss but Hector Ramirez, who works at the tree lot next door, needs to stop being so cute and making her think about kissing boys again. And this book too actually has a tree farm, but this one needs to be renovated. Our two main characters, they're best friends, and they are fake dating to hopefully win this prize who will then help give them publicity and a hundred thousand dollar cash prize so this is what they need to save the tree farm and so they need to fake date to help win this prize so ya is a lot easier to read the font is bigger it seems like i'm going to be able just to fly through with it but this one also seems really intriguing because a lot of people have said they really like it Hmm, I think I might be going with Talk Santa to me because it's YA and also because one of you guys picked this for me to read first. So now I am set on the physical books for the next 24 hours. I am also currently listening to an audiobook. It is The Wish by Nicholas Sparks. I am about an hour and a half in. This book, we are following our main character, Maggie, who is actually battling cancer. And she is also a photographer. She right now is currently telling the story of her childhood and we're going to be following her throughout her life. So now I think I'm going to pick up As Good As Dead and let's see how many pages I can read. this book is about if you haven't read the first or the second book i highly encourage you to go and read it they are really really good i thoroughly enjoy it it is ya mystery thriller suspense all that good stuff if you haven't read them don't worry i'm not going to say any spoilers but basically we are following our main character pip throughout like a year or two so the first book it starts off in the beginning of her senior year where she is doing a project for people who have actually been killed in her town and then in the second book she is also doing another mystery investigation each book we are following her throughout like these mysteries and like following along with her where she's trying to figure it out she's like a 
18 year old detective and she's really really smart and she's a badass and we are seeing her evolve and change throughout the books and i really like her family too her, she has a brother her mom and her dad they're all a lot of fun to read about the first and second book she's in her senior year this book it's in like the couple of weeks before college and then i believe we're following her in college too I'm really enjoying it. I'm having fun. Now to more reading. Tell me why I'm already like getting sleepy and like I can take a nap. I have decided to watch a movie and this has to be one of my favorite holiday movies it's called the holiday with cameron diaz and jack black ah, i'm so excited i watch this movie all the time as a kid and i'm so excited to watch it this season <laughs> so giddy and good I love it it's just so cute it's definitely very cheesy but I mean I read romance books so I like cheesiness hey you're gonna watch it in here with me I mean you're gonna eat in here with me that's so cute and look I'm vlogging you sit down there? you're so cute I told Jane I was like I miss you <laughs> aww <laughs> love you you're so cute! Wow. Where's Jack Black? I'm coming. The, the movie just ended. I really enjoyed the movie. It's just such a cutesy, pretty much like predictable film. But it's so cute and like fluffy. It's like just like a classic fluffy romance holiday Christmas movie. <laughs> I really really like it and I'm glad that I watched it. Now I'm going to start Talk Santa to Me. This is by Linda Urban and I'm very excited. So it begins the first Christmas book of the season. I'm so excited. Yeah. Yeah. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Let your mom be bright. Guys, this book is making me cackle. It's making me laugh. Why is this book so funny? When I first read the synopsis, I thought for a second it might be too young for me. But I'm loving this. It's so like silly and funny and cute. Is that cackling? <laughs> that. It's had me do that a handful amount of times. And I'm only on page 22. And I swear I've done that <laughs> three times. I mean, a handful is five, so let's say three. That's impressive for a book. Okay, now to some audiobook time. Don't call, just text me. Bitches so can get on my speed. They swear because they know I'm the I-G-T-I-R. <laughs> I somehow, the blanket like laid itself out and the pillow like laid itself out as well. And I like somehow fell onto the floor and cuddled up and nestled into my blanket and fell asleep. I fell asleep for like, I think an hour. I feel rejuvenated and I feel like I can start reading again. You know what? All y'all are fake. None of y'all said I got stuff on my teeth. Only Jaden. <laughs> He's like, you got something in your teeth. I was like, what? You said what? He said something black. For how long? That's disgusting. Oh.
honestly, for like the past hour, me and Jane have just been talking and chilling. Sure. And I got this little catita next to me. Oh, her little pink boy. Oh, her little pink nose. Check it out. I got my little tendido. I got my computer book, Kindle, my other book, my water bottle, my Vaseline, because I got eczema. Look at these books. Look at eczema. I got what? The eczema. <laughs> I even got my little squishy that my little sister gave me like a year ago, and I've never stopped spooning with it since. Have I ever slept with a stuffed animal as a child? No. But as a ripe 22 year old, I do. Now I am about to read a couple more pages until I go to sleep. I'm about to reach 80, so I want to read at least 10 more pages. I really want to get to 100 before um, I go to sleep, but I think it's doable. I've reached 100 pages. It is close to 2 a.m. and now I'm going to be going to sleep. Oh my god shadow on the ceiling scared me i'm gonna snuggle up tell me why i miss Jaden. i'm gonna have to sleep with myself i'll be fine but this is definitely interesting my brain's like uh i will see you guys in the morning sleeping was actually okay it was fine. It was very fun though to like open your eyes and like see that. <laughs> but Jane came in here and was like, I didn't sleep good not having you. <laughs> so cute. And he actually took a picture of me and I'm gonna put it right here. I think it's so cute. Two more hours. This is like the final stretch. And this is gonna be really easy because in my mind, I'm just like, okay, I just woke up. I watched my little book two videos now I'm gonna read and this is what I would do in my bed, but I'm just doing it on the floor in my book nook. There's 10 minutes left until this challenge is officially over. I am about halfway through the book. I have made it to exactly 150 and i am thoroughly enjoying this it is making me laugh like the chapter that i'm on right now it's so funny like she is the author and like i want to say the character is so funny but like it is like the character is so funny the author is so funny the friend alice is so funny like i don't think i've had a book make me like laugh and like cackle and like hee 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 as much as this book has even though it's ya for me to finish half the book in less than 24 hours is really good for me. And I know that it's YA and like that's why it really helps. Um, but I'm just really enjoying it and it's making me feel so accomplished. And even after this challenge ends, I'm probably gonna be sitting here and just reading this book because I'm really enjoying it. And as for the audiobook, I am three hours and 30 minutes in. I think I've listened to an hour and a half she recently has hired this guy named mark to work at her art gallery and he ends up asking questions about her because she's reminiscing on her life he's here starting his life he's gonna get married and she's reflecting on the fact that she hasn't gotten married yet so she ends up telling him the story of her life and it reminds me of like a movie where it's like in the notebook when he's reading the book to her <laughs> And then he starts reading and then it goes back to the past. That's what it's like in this book. So it's very interesting to actually like read about it or like really listen to it. Two minutes left, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And the 24 hour challenge in my book nook has ended. Yay! 
that is going to be it for today's video i really really hope you enjoyed i had so much fun making this video and i hope you have just as much fun watching if you like this type of video please comment down below if i should do it again because i would very happily do it again what's funny is on my weekend when i have nothing to do i'm in my book room reading listening to my audiobook watching book two watching a movie so it's funny to vlog it and to challenge myself to actually stay there for 24 hours so really is it that much of a challenge what more does a book reader want than to stay in their room for however long they want and read however much they want thank you so very much for watching i'll see you guys next time bye